In this video, we'll be going over the Preferences dialog, which provides a centralized location for configuring MotiveWave. It can be accessed in one of many ways. You have a gear icon to the top right and bottom right of the platform, or you can access it via the Configure menu item found in the MotiveWave menu by clicking on Preferences. The dialog contains many of the configuration panels and they're organized under tabs and subtabs. So every tab here has its co corresponding subtabs. So if we were to change, you'll see that a corresponding set of subtabs show. Now we're not going to go over all the details here. That will be in separate videos. But this is just going to be a general overview of some of the things that are available for configuration within MotiveWave. Feel free to explore the configuration options. Just a note, if your preferences window is not large enough, you may not see the, the complete list of the tabs or sub tabs, in which case you can either enlarge your window or you can always click on the down arrows to see the complete list. A good place to start would be to click on charts and then options. And this will allow you to set the default settings for charts. Now you can enable or disable any of the fields and then click on apply to ensure that the changes take effect immediately. Other tabs you can take a look at are bar sizes. This will allow you to add or remove your required timeframes. You can take a look at themes, which will show you all the included chart themes that come with MotiveWave, as allow you to create your own bar themes and chart themes. Okay, so this wraps up this video. Moving on to the next.